integral of tan of x. Okay, so when I look at this, I'm a little bit befuddled because there's nothing to hold on to. There's no signature of any kind. There's no pattern. I don't recognize this as the result of applying the chain rule. There's just nothing to hold on to. So what do we do? So in this case, there's nothing to unsimplify. There's nothing to write in another way. There is nothing to split up and so on. So I'll just do the one thing I can, really, and remind myself that tangent is sine over cosine, and then maybe we'll see something, okay? Let's see what happens. Okay, that's just the definition of the tangent function. And now it has the chain rule signature that we're, that we're looking for. Because now we definitely see 1 over something. And by chance, do we have the derivative of that something as a multiplicative factor? Yes, we do. It's actually, in a way, one of the most enjoyable inter integrate. One of the most enjoyable integration exercises we've done because we turned nothing into something in just one step. It's kind of a nice feeling that all of a sudden you do one manipulation and everything is revealed. So it has to be log of cosine of x, but let's be careful with the minus sign. So let's do that extra step where we recognize that this is minus the derivative of the cosine and just write it like this. And now, I no longer think of cosine of x as a function of some variable x, because it's under here now. I just think of it as a single symbol. You initially can think of it as du over u, but after you've done this enough times, you don't even need to do that anymore. You just think of this as the one symbol, saves you two substitution steps, and you're, and you're saying, well, that's just the integral of 1 over x. And so it's minus log, and as I've ranted before, we abhor absolute values in the context of integration. So we're done.